All right, since I know everyone's ready, at least pretend like you're ready and pretend like you want to be here because I got to do that too. Some days, I just need to. So, now, Karen, are you ready yet? Say no, because your earbuds are All right, so let's see. Class. Yes. Oh. yes. Oh, my goodness. It could have been better. could have been better. All right, so we're going to go through this review for the test. You guys are going to do amazing on the test. So, let's see. So, right here, uh, points for the formula, point for process, one point for answer for each one of these that are multiple points. So, which three-dimensional object can be made from the net? Now, I have to look. What's going to be the radius of this here? So let's see, let's count it. It looks like it's going to be one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. It looks like it's going to be four. So my radius looks like it's going to be four there. Yeah. So that means it's going to get rid of both of these, right? Yeah. And the down one, the key one. Okay, so let's look at the height. The height is going to be, let's see, starting here, one, two, three, four, five. So my height should be five, so that gets rid of this one. So my answer can only be C. C. Which net represents the three-dimensional object shown? So first, what would my base shape be? That's important. It should be a triangle, right? So it could be a triangle here. Or, if you look, it could also be this rectangle here. Because by looking at that, I could actually have both ends of the triangle folding off. Or, if I try to do this as my base, I would have rectangles folding off. So, these ones right here would just give me pyramids. Both of these would give me pyramids. So, that means it's not going to be this one. It's not going to be this one. So if I'm looking at this one here, it's going to be one of these two. So that means that my base right here is going to be a six, and going this way is going to be a seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's see over here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh oh. Then should go up seven. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven. There we go. So, again, this one right here is going to be option C for this net by looking at this. Which three dimensional shape can be made from this one right here? Okay. So, Top and bottom is going to be a, what's that, hexagon? It's got six sides. So top and bottom is a hexagon. So that means that it can't be this one. Can't be this one. And so it looks like it's either B or D. How many sides does this one right here have on the bottom? Five, this says five. One, two, three, four, five. This one right here has one, two, three, four, five, six. And let's go back to C. This has one, two, three, four, five, six. So my answer has to be B. There we go. Surface area of the rectangular prism. Now, going through your notes. If you guys open up the notes on this, I'm hoping you guys will remember there was a special way to find the surface area. What's the formula for the surface area of a prism? Uh, 2 times the base of height plus the perimeter of the base and then times height. Perimeter of the base, right? Times height. Like that? Is that width and height or length and width? No, it's the area of the base. It's 
This one right here, area of the base. So two times area of the base. Yeah. Okay. So I'm just trying to remember because like item by item, how did it say it in the in the homework or in the notes? Does it say exactly that in the two capital B plus B? Okay, there it is. Okay, so yes, I'm trying to go directly by the notes. So yours is correct. Like that. Okay, so area of the base is going to be the bottom down here. So this link going this way, so I know that this is two. This down here is going to be nine. nine. So that area is going to be 18. So it's going to be 2 times 18 plus the perimeter. The perimeter, right? The perimeter is going to be what? So it's going to be 2 here, 2 over here, right? And 9 in the back. So I'm going to get 22, right? By adding all four of those together, I'm going to get 22 times my height, which is going to be? five right there. So if you're paying attention, they get three points for these. So you get formula, the work, and then the answer. Uh, what's that going to be? 146. One what? <coughs> 146. What are my units? Feet two. Feet square. Yep. Feet two. Yeah. All right. Questions, concerns, complaints, conspiracy theories. No conspiracy theories yet? Okay. Okay, so right here, surface area of a cylinder. Now, the formula for this one is going to be 2 pi r squared plus 2 pi r h. Is that what they have? What we have? Yeah. How we wrote it? And okay, I'm just making sure, because sometimes it could be written differently. And yeah, I'm just making sure because teaching multiple math, we do it different ways in different classes. All right. So now, given that one, so it's going to be two pi. My radius is going to be eleven plus two pi eleven uh, times h, which is eight. Now, if you plug it in a num works, so it'll give you a exact answer in terms of pi, and it'll also give me an approximate answer. So, what is it going to be with pi? Uh, 338. 380. Oh, 638. 638. 638 pi, yeah. which is going to be what as a decimal? And those are units? Meter square. What's wrong? I think it's different. Can I see yours? Yeah, I got the three, six, three, three. Two, five. Maybe you just plugged in the calculator one. Yeah. Okay. So are you using NumWorks? Most likely not. So that's probably your problem. Okay, surface area of the pyramid. Okay, did we have a way to find the surface area? Yeah. Do we have a formula for it? Yeah. What was it? B plus one and a half T. B plus one and a half. One half. One half what? P E. P L. P L. Yeah. No, I don't know. Like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Do you recall what that L is? What did you say? The side, right? It's the lateral height. So that's the slant height right there. So the lateral height. So two times P L. Okay. So area of the base. So area of the base is going to be two times two. That's going to be these. 
3 times 2 is going to give me 4 plus 1 half. My perimeter of the base is going to be 2, 2, 2, and 2, which is 4 times the lateral height is going to give me 3. Huh? An 8? Did I do it wrong? Yes, I did. I'm sorry. Oh, good job. Where were you at on that one, Kakarot? It's the same. I have, I have the same. <coughs> All right. Good catch. Ah, you can't. That's a three right there. All right. So we should get 12 plus 4 is 16. Yes. And 16, my units. And squared. And squared. I'm hoping you guys are actually, you know, feeling pretty good about this. Surface area of the cone. Okay. This one's going to be... Pi R squared plus. So you said pi R. Like that? Was there a one third in there somewhere? Okay. So what's the radius of this one? It's four. It's going to be four because. 8 is all the way across. Slant height is going to be... And let me see, that's 80 plus 16 is 96 pi. Which should be like two something? I thought 301. 301? Oh, wow, I'm off. I thought 302. 301, 302. 302 Did you round? 302. Let me see. I don't know. It was the show, but it's just the other one. It is T0155. Give me a second. I will bring it up. So it was... It was 96. 96 pi. Yeah, 302. Because that 5 is going to make it go up. Yeah, 302, and that's going to be in millimeters squared. All right, so let's keep going. What? All right, let's keep going. Volume of the rectangular prism. This one right here should be an easy one. Volume is equal to length times width times height. So it's gonna be five times seven times six. Which is going to give me 210. Okay. And this is volume now, so that means my units are and two. cubed. Oh, it's three. Yep. Volume is always cubed. It's the same thing. How do you do yours? Area of the base times the, yeah. It's the same thing, the capital B times height, yeah. Same one. All right, volume of the cylinder. Hmm? What? Oh, I hope so. So what's the volume gonna be? Oh, what is it two, two, no, pi two here. Pi R squared H. Okay. 
So it's going to be pi. My radius is 6 squared. H is 1. So that's going to give me 36 pi. You also write that? No. I'm just hoping you guys are giving me the answers. What do you got? 113. 113. And what are my units? Cubed. 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 It's cubed. Yes. Are we good, Karen? All righty. Let's keep going. So that's number nine. Volume of the pyramid. So this one, how would I do this one? Capital B times height. So the area of the base is going to be that middle one. So it's one third my seven. Three times three. Nine. Nine times the height, which is? Seven. Seven. So that's going to give me 21. 21. Yeah. Meters. Cubed. Say cubed. Cube. Cube. Say cube. Cube. Okay. Or say raised to the third. Okay. All right. You ready? Volume of the cone. This one's going to be one third pi r squared h. Squared h. So. One third pi. My R is ten squared. H is twelve. Uh, what's that gonna be like? What? Four hundred pi. Which is gonna give me a boot. One fifty two. Twelve five two. No. He said no. Seven? Twelve five seven? Like that? Yeah. Okay, let me check it. Four four hundred pi. I don't Yeah, twelve fifty seven. You're right. My units. Feet cute. Surface area of a sphere. What's the formula? It's 2 pi. 4 pi r squared. Oh. Pi r squared. 4 pi. My radius is 17 squared. Uh, 17 squared, that's like... Okay, so you said three thousand six what? Thirty-two. Is there a pi on that one, or is yeah. this the approximation? Uh, pi is one one fifty-two. Pi is a different way, Mister. It's kind of the same, same thing. Like that? Yeah. Okay, and so it's that, and that's going to be inches. And what is this though? This is an area or volume? Area. Area. Area is always. So I, I did a different one, but it's kind of the same thing. Okay. Yeah, because yeah, you're using the wrong calculator, which doesn't let you do it the right way. So it's all right. Okay, hopefully you won't get a one on this next one. I put one, four, and a half. I put that, it's kind of the same. It's all right. Volume of sphere. How do I find volume of sphere? There you go. So four thirds pi. My radius is fifteen cubed. I can't do that one in my head. I, w I wish I could, but I can't. Anyway, so what do we get? Fourteen. Pi? Or is that just approximate? Okay. 
I usually just throw it with pie because I could do that in my head, but you know, these ones I'm not that good. And these are going to be meters what? Uh, Q. Q. Volume is always Q. Very good. All right. What name best describes this solid? Is it a pyramid or is it a prism? It's a type of pyramid, isn't it? Do they go up to a peak? Yeah, it goes up to a peak, so it's not a prism. So it can't be that, can't be that. Is it a triangular pyramid or a rectangular pyramid? Because my base is triangle, right? So yes, the base right here is a triangle, so it makes it a triangular pyramid. All right, so what do you think this one is? Pyramid. A pyramid, right? Okay, is there something special about it though? It, it looks like a rectangle, right? Could be a rectangular pyramid. So I don't know if it's a square or not, but it looks like it could be, but can't tell. Okay, so what is the image of point A when the figure is translated four units to the right and down three units? Four to the right? Okay, so we're moving A, four to the right. One, two, three, four, and down three. So, what's that location going to be? <clears throat> Negative one. <clears throat> so, I threw some extra stuff in here just in case you guys, I hope you guys remember doing it because it is going to come up again on this final exam, which I found out recently. So, they're going to throw all kinds of everything at you. So, we're going to do more review. Okay, what transformation is being illustrated? What type of transformation is that? Rotation. Is that a rotation? Yeah. Okay, so it is going to be a rotation. Now, can you give me a direction? What do you mean? Which way is it rotating? That way. What's that way? I mean the, the, the right. The to the what? Rotation. What wise? Clockwise, there we go, clockwise. So I don't know if you guys actually had this vocabulary and stuff before, so that's why I wanted to throw it in here. Okay, so this is a rotation, right? And since it's rotating this way, that's the same as the face of a clock. So we're rotating that clockwise. Yes? So rotation, clockwise, and that one. Uh, someone did throw out 180 degrees, who did that one? Yes, so yes, it is 180 degrees to go from there over to there. If a figure has the same angle measure but different side lengths, what type of transformation do you have? Dilation. dilation. Very good. That is dilation. So a dilation is the same shape, but it either gets bigger or it gets smaller. Reflection, remember, same on both sides. Okay. Rotation, same thing, but it just turns around. And translation just slides to either which way? Hit play. Green button. All right, questions, concerns, complaints, conspiracy theories. Okay, what are we doing in this class here tomorrow? You're taking this test, and you guys are going to do amazing, right? Yes. All right.